Viserys in a deal brokered by one of the magisters of Pentos, the Illyrio Mopatis. Um, he gives up his sister into marriage to this horse lord in return for promise of an army. The problem is that Viserys doesn't really understand the Dothraki, and that also he's, he's arrogant. He has this sense of entitlement. He doesn't understand the Dothraki culture. You know, and the Dothraki are not merchants. They do not buy or sell. They trade favors, and they do it in their own time. So they look at it as the the you know Danny was given to Kadrogo as a gift, and in return he will give a gift of this golden crown that he has promised Viserys. Drogo, by the customs of his people, is obliged to return to Vise Dothrak and to present his new bride to the Doshkalin, the crones who are at the heart of the of the Dothraki culture. And Viserys tags along with him, which is a mistake on a whole number of levels. The horse people come to have great contempt for Viserys. Danny adjusts to their culture. Danny you know, rides and starts wearing Dothraki clothing and learns their language. Viserys doesn't do any of this. He's the king of Westeros. He expects deference and all that. And it becomes more and more a problem 